Peter Curran is a doer. When he's not working long hours as a human resources executive, he's running, cycling, or playing with his energetic dog, Bunny. So when the 54-year-old was diagnosed with colorectal cancer, he immediately sprang into action. I knew it would be complicated. So um, I, I just uh, was kind of battened down the hatches and, and started planning. That planning included getting second opinions from surgeons at three different Boston hospitals. His first interview didn't go as he'd hoped. It was one of the worst meetings I could possibly imagine ever having with anyone. He was rude. He cut me off a bunch of times. He told me to stop talking once. <laughs> not the attitude Peter was hoping for, and not the attitude he got when he met Dr. Deborah Nagel, chief of colon and rectal surgery at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston. I was just extremely impressed. I mean, she's a great listener. Dr. Nagel told Peter he was a good candidate for a new minimally invasive surgery that uses robots to help the surgeons remove tumors in hard-to-reach places. Robotic surgery is one of those futuristic things that you might have seen on Star Trek and always hoped you could participate in, and now we actually can. Unlike traditional colorectal surgery, which requires large incisions and long recovery time, robotic colorectal surgery uses tiny incisions to place the instruments inside the body cavity. The surgeon sits at a console away from the patient, remotely maneuvering the instruments to remove the tumor. The beauty of robotic surgery is, is that your wrist is now incorporated in the technology, and you're able to have the degrees of freedom that you would have with your hand in space, deep in the pelvis, in a place you could otherwise not get to. A 3D camera attached to the robotic instruments gives surgeons maximum visibility they don't normally get. The difference compared to straight laparoscopic is that 3D camera makes a huge difference in terms of our visualization and the ability to move in the pelvis and move around the abdomen. Straight instruments move back and forth in a certain in a straight plane and can be moved side to side off of a fulcrum. Robotic instruments can move 360 degrees. BIDMC was the first hospital in New England to routinely perform advanced colorectal surgery with a robot and it's making a difference to patients like Peter. The prospect of having a small incision and that it's all done via cameras, I found uh, very compelling. There's a lot of pain with those incisions and there's a lot of downtime uh, associated with it. So when you go from, from this to this, it's a big, big difference for the patients. Including less pain, fewer narcotics, reduced blood loss, lower risk of infection, lower risk of bowel obstruction, and a faster return to normal. It was amazing. I was like all ready for something really terrible and it just never came. Peter's surgery was a great success. A year and a half later, he's free of cancer and back to his busy lifestyle. I walk a few miles every day or I ride a bike five or six miles. I certainly eat better than I used to. He's glad he took the time to get two second opinions and that he chose BIDMC. The whole experience of going to Beth Israel was extremely different than the other two hospitals. After the big uh, pitch I gave for shopping all the hospitals, I would say to someone, don't waste your time, just go straight to Beth Israel.